Hi, I'm Jatan. As CEO of Canada's Energy Regulator, I'm thrilled to introduce Canada's Energy Future 2021, Energy Supply and Demand Projections to 2050. How Canadians decide to consume, produce, and use energy over the next 30 years will determine our energy future. Our report provides neutral, fact-based analysis on a range of potential impacts to Canada's energy system. The report looks at two main scenarios for how the future may unfold. And for the first time, we introduce new scenarios that explore what Canada's electricity system might look like in a net zero world. This is just one of the ways we're evolving our energy information products to meet the changing needs of Canadians. I hope this report sparks conversations and gets you interested in Canadian energy. Every year, we release a report that shows how Canada's energy system could change over the next 30 years. Our team of analysts model two core scenarios, the evolving policy scenario and the current policy scenario. These scenarios play out differently depending on the degree of action to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The economic and energy models we use to make projections have led to seven key findings. Canada is on track for a significant reduction in fossil fuel use by 2050. At the same time, the use of low and non-emitting energy sources like solar and wind will increase. Fossil fuel use, where emissions are not captured and stored, is projected to fall by 62% in the next 30 years. Over that same period, Canadians are expected to reduce their overall energy consumption by 21%. We project a nearly 45% increase in the use of electricity to offset the decline in fossil fuel use. There's a sizable growth in electricity demand, even as total energy demand falls by more than 20% by 2050. Growth is driven by things like space heating, electric vehicles, and hydrogen production. As electricity demand rises, how we generate power will have a much smaller carbon footprint, with low-cost wind and solar power providing much of the extra electricity we need. Electricity is expected to be an integral part of achieving net zero emissions. For the first time, this report introduces six new scenarios to explore what Canada's electricity system might look like in a net zero world. Wind, solar and battery sources dominate new electricity capacity. These sources combine to make up 82 to 85% of added electricity capacity. All scenarios require flexible generation sources, such as natural gas or nuclear, to balance supply and demand with rising levels of wind and solar. However, there are large differences in the types and capacities of flexible generation sources adopted among scenarios. Our net zero electricity projections suggest that Canadian power systems will continue to be distinct across the country, even in a net zero future. The provinces meet their electricity demands in diverse ways with widely varying mixes of hydro, nuclear, fossil fuel with carbon capture and storage, wind, solar, hydrogen, and biomass with carbon capture and storage. Transmission between provinces will also play an important role, particularly by moving hydro from BC and Manitoba into Alberta and Saskatchewan to enable the electricity system to reach net zero. Canadian crude oil production levels are resilient through to 2050 despite our assumptions of relatively low prices and more ambitious climate policies. Production in 2050 is only slightly below today's levels. This largely stems from the nature of oil sands facilities, which are long-lived and have low operating costs once built. Production projections suggest the pipeline system out of Western Canada would still be nearly at capacity into the mid-2030s. Natural gas production is driven by the growth of liquefied natural gas, or LNG, in both our scenarios. Overall, production stays relatively flat until 2040 and then declines. Similar to last year's projections, BC continues to grow its share of production, overtaking Alberta as the top natural gas producer starting in 2028. Our projections show that Canadians use far fewer fossil fuels in the future. By 2050, coal nearly disappears and the use of fuels made from oil declines, especially gasoline and diesel for transportation. In the future, how much natural gas we use will increasingly be tied to the future of carbon capture and storage. 
One thing we know from this report is that the effort of Canada, as well as the global community, to reduce greenhouse gas emissions will be a critical factor in how energy systems evolve in the long term. Advances in clean technology and evolving government policies will be the difference makers. Be sure to follow us on social media for more great energy information all year long.